On today's adventure, we have the 2022 Nightster, 975cc Nightster Revolution engine from Harley Davidson Motorcycles. This one has the slip-on from SNS, so this ought to be fun. Okay, this is going to be a little different than the last motorcycle I rode. The last one I rode was the Pan American. And unlike the Pan American, this one has a seat height of about 25 inches, it feels like. Not big at all. Wow. Not big at all. Hmm. Nice. So this is the same thing. Oh, it's got a really nice display. Got everything on here you're going to need. And it's got the same turn signal switch just like the Pan American did. So instead of having it on both sides, you just have a uh, one switch for both turn signals. Which is a lot different than all the other motorcycles that I've ridden from Harley-Davidson. Wow. Look at that. Loud. Louder than I thought it would be. Alright, so this is a 975cc motorcycle. It's supposed to be a little rocket ship. That's what I've been told. Let's get this mirror back here so we can actually see something behind us. Alright. Good enough. ABS on this bad boy. Got all kinds of niceties. This should be fun. I can find the pegs. Wow, that thing shifts. <laughs> shifts a little different right there. Let's go this way. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a little hot rod, boys. Anyway, this sucker is uh it's kind of like the replacement for the Sportster and I mean it's it's light it's small it's definitely a hot rod guys yeah this is uh, wow this is kind of fun this is kind of fun this sucker is definitely different definitely different the mirror placement is that's crazy, man. Well, the first things that I'm going to notice about this motorcycle is unlike many other Harley-Davidson motorcycles, those of us who are vertically challenged, I'm 5'5", about 195 pounds, so I'm kind of a fat 5'5", but vertically challenged people, yeah, you're going to have no problem with this sucker. It's like riding a bicycle. The seat height is super low, uh, it's super narrow, it's super light. It feels like a damn trick bike. Like you're gonna be doing tricks on this thing. Like a like a stunt bike, I mean. This feels like a stunt bike. It's so small and like crazy light. Center of gravity is very, very, is right in the middle. Right where you need it to be. That Revolution engine, holy cow. So I'd never ridden a Revolution engine until I rode the Pan American. Of course, that's a 1250. And this one is not a 1250. This one is a 975cc. But I gotta tell you, that 975 is right where it needs to be for this light of a motorcycle. Speedometer here. And I can see it. I mean, I don't see real well up close. I'm an old man. I need reading glasses, but it's easy to read. I'm having no problem with it. Sorry for the audio. Despite my best efforts at speed, my microphone still makes popping, crackling sounds. I can't figure it out. I've narrowed it down to my camera. But anyway, this is just me talking about the rider modes. There are three rider modes with this motorcycle. So if you want to ride it in sport, great. Rain mode, and then I think whatever street regular mode is. All the modes seem to work pretty well. I kept it in standard mode just because 
there was really no need for me to do anything else. This bike got up from about 65 miles an hour to 85 with no effort whatsoever. Plenty of passing power. Never going to have a problem with the power with this motorcycle. It's lightweight. It's quick. It's easy to handle. Beginner riders will be very comfortable on this bike as long as you keep it in standard mode. You probably not want to go to sport mode right out of the box with this thing if you're a brand new rider. I mean, it's just going to create a lot of extra power and snap in that throttle. So keep it in standard mode. That's my, that's my advice back because I can't I'm not supposed to go to Nebraska with a test bike and I went the wrong way we'll do a little gravel here yep a little gravel it's a standard mode folks yeah that's that's gonna be a lot of fun for somebody tell you what though if you're a beginner better watch yourself yeah this thing is true to form man it's a little rocket ship that's what I was told I knew it was gonna be yeah this thing is really cool it's a lot of fun to ride it's a little different than everything else that uh, Harley's offering that revolution engine but I got to tell you <laughs> I if you're just gonna have a second bike to kick around town, go out and have a lot of fun on, I mean, this would definitely fit the bill, 100%. This would fit the bill. I do like, let me get my shield up. I do like the fact that when it's in, when you got the clutch pulled in, you can still see what gear you're in. With the other Harleys, my Harley, for example, now on mine, once you pull the clutch in, you can't see what gear it is. So if you've been downshifting to go to a stop or to get started again, you don't know what it is. But on mine, I never know what gear I'm in when my clutch is pulled in. This one, you read it even when it is. And that's actually kind of a handy little thing, I think. Nobody wants to wave at you when you're on non-standard V-twin Harley-Davidson motorcycles. They only want to wave to you if they think you're actually on the Harley, I guess. Well, it's a Harley, people. Yeah, it's a Harley. It's a Harley rocket ship, what it is. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I love it. Would I take it home with me? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I'd have, definitely have this in my stable. If I was made of nothing but money, money was no object, I'd have me a Nightster 975. No doubt about it. It's fun. Looks good. Feels good. Smells good. Yeah. Ain't no doubt about it, boys and girls. I'll be right there with it. Don't wave. Nobody will wave. I can't have one of these just because of that. Nobody will wave to you. Harley Davidson Revolution Engine 975 Nightster. Pretty cool. Got the Brembo brakes, single disc up front. It's got the LED headlight and turn signals, it looks like. Got the uh, mag wheels. Harley Davidson, again, Revolution Engine. Pretty sweet. We ran it like we stole it. Some bitch is smoking. Sucker's pretty cool, man. Thing's gonna make a lot of people happy. Liquid cooled. Got a radiator and a fan. You just run this thing for days, man. Got these adjustable levers. So you can set it up just for you. It's with the solo seat, but it's very comfortable. For an hour and 15 minutes when you're out riding around. Got the old standard like Dyna style shocks on the back. Yep, belt drive. Belt drive just like your other Harleys. Sweet.